What do a couple of the world's best bull riders do when the PBR season is over? No, they don't go to the beach. They hunt, and they hunt for Team Elk. Austin Meyer and Dustin Elliott are taking on one of the worst Montana snowstorms on record for the month of November in hopes of doubling up on late season bulls. Hey, when the hardest part of your week isn't strapping yourself to an 1800 pound bull, you know you're facing an uphill battle. Mother Nature will not be easy on these guys this week. This is Team Elk and it starts right now. While we're sitting here, we just pulled into a spot. Uh, got a bunch of elk bedded over there on the hill. Uh, you know, it's too dark right now to see what, whether there's bulls or cows. You can just kind of see that they're there. Uh, look like they're about 330 yards right now. So basically, we're just going to wait till light. And once light comes, see what they are, see if there's a shooter in there. All these elk are migrating down. This is really unusual for this time of year. It's about it's zero out, and we have about 25 inches of snow. This hasn't happened in about 12 years. That's what makes it exciting is there's, you just never know what's gonna happen because the elk are, are moving, they're down, and we're right in the middle of them. You know, for me, it's, it's a great opportunity and a great blessing because, you know, we don't have elk in Oklahoma. And so for a Southern Oklahoma boy to come out here and enjoy hunting elk in this kind of country in this kind of conditions, I, you know, I feel, I feel blessed to be able to do that. This is the last week of, of rifle season for elk. Um, it ends Sunday, today's Wednesday. Yeah. So this doesn't get any later than this. And elk are here and the snow is here, so you can't ask for any more. Okay. And we're here. <laughs> We had an incredible blast of Arctic weather come in this week. It, it ups the ante for a lot of things. Um, when the weather moves in, it gets the game moving, but at the same time, it makes it a lot more difficult for horses and hunters to move as well. They're in survival mode now. Seeing all those animals before it was legal light got me excited knowing that there was lots of animals in the area. And every time that you add you know, a degree of difficulty as the temperature drops a degree. Um, it, it definitely makes for a challenge. It, it takes on a whole new flavor and a whole new, it's a whole new game when the weather changes like it has last week. See that one lead cow, she says we're going high. And then those other five cows are looking up. Good Lord. I got three shooters in that bunch. And that one in front is huge. They're gonna go up and what's cool is Garden Creek gets real, real thick down in the bottom. So I have a feeling that that's what they'll do. We're getting later on in the morning, 8.30, 8.45, and you could tell that the sun had come up and the elk were, were moving into their afternoon bedding. We're just gonna take it slow and see what we can run into. So, keep moving. We continued our move on. We're going along there pretty, pretty long ways, and I hear Dan. You know, we're we're glassing and everything. Well, I hear Dan go, "Ooh." There's a good bull. See the power lines? Yeah. Look, look right through the lines and you'll see him. How uh, far? That's a mile. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what we'll do is uh, we'll follow this road around and it goes right up a little draw there. I'm ready. Okay. You know, it's either see a bull like that and whine and cry because he's a mile or over a mile away, and watch him walk out of your dreams or, you know, you're here to hunt big bulls and you put out the effort to do that. And so, so that's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> I 
as we cross through, you know, sage flats and knee deep, waist deep snow, we noticed that one of the bulls in that group of three had branched off. He's coming back. He's coming, he's coming back. This way he, he broke off. It's the big one. Why is he all by himself? But sure enough, he had branched off from that three and was headed straight for us, downhill right for us, and figured we had a really good opportunity and that we should probably make our play on that particular bull. We keep making tracks, keep making tracks. Run up a hill, down a hill. Oh, it's legs hurt. Get your back. All right. Thought I was going to die a few times. See that whole string of them? Freaking huge string of them. We just tracked a real long ways and up a really big hill with lots and lots of snow. Lungs are burning a bit, but that bull's still over there and we're still going after him, so we can we can rest when we're dead. Might not be long. <laughs> He's bedded down. Tell, like, He's bedded down over there too. Good. So. You know, go by sections that's making the walking easier on us and kind of make our way up towards him as he made his way towards us. Knowing exactly where he was, it made it a little bit easier for us. He looks really good, I'm getting excited. He's still moving, he crossed that old fence. Yeah. You know, he's already, looks like he's gonna go back. Okay, we're closing the distance and getting in on him. We knew Dustin and his crew was on the other side of that bull somewhere up in a, up in a drainage. Dan and I talked it over and he yeah. said, well, he said, we're gonna go ahead and make a move on this bull because they might not have seen him. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Come around the corner, there's Dustin and his crew on the hill up above him. And so we just set up and, and watched it. Holy crap, they're getting close. Wind was against us. It was blowing in our backs and it was blowing it down into the bowl. He's gonna win this. He'll pop up. Yeah. And then, you know, you get a great yeah. shot and take it. Yeah, let's go. So we're watching them get closer and closer and closer, and we're like, it's not a bow hunt, it's a rifle. Shoot him. Shoot him. And so we're watching, and I, I see Dustin leading the pack. And I, I can see him, he's waving up and he's just starting to peek over and then I see him do the panic wave. Yeah, <laughs> and so he, he waves everybody and, and so we knew they must not have seen him until he got over that little no. Come on boy, there he goes. Two fifty six. Two fifty. 
He's down. Well, let him. He's now down. he's down. Now he's down. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh! It's so cold, you just didn't know it yet. Oh! Nice job, Dustin. Oh, yeah! That's a good ball, too, buddy. That's a dang good ball. It's like we were watching on TV, just the, the view that we had. I mean, we had a, a front row seat of the whole, the whole thing. <sighs> Look how wide he is. He's, uh, he's just heavy, as heavy can be. There's a lot of luck involved with hunting. I mean, I, I know there's skill, but, you know, dealing with wild animals, you never know what they're going to do, and, oh. and he just played right into our hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Make sure that's the wind and he's not alive no more. Oh, look how heavy he is. That's a nice little bull. That's a nice bull. That is awesome. That is Thank a beautiful you. bull. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice shoot. That's a good looking bull. It, it was definitely cool and, you know, made me pumped up to go get my own. Definitely, you definitely hope that you don't walk that far again to, to watch somebody shoot a bull. I, I sure could have just watched it through the spot and scope, but um, it, it was definitely worth it, you know? So I, I'd do it again, maybe. They had a pretty tough, pretty tough time getting that bull out, so it cost them some time. Well, we got back in and they said, Get your stuff on, let's go. There's a big bull on the hill. Let's go see what we can do. We're not gonna be able to get up there in time. We've got an hour 45 left to light. By the time we saddle up and get up there, there's mm -hmm. no way. Cows are feeding down the mountain here. They're coming down. Yeah, see coming down right here. The best way is to not force anything and let them come to us. Mm -hmm. And we'll get down here and we'll wait. Yeah. There'll be a good shot. There'll be okay. a shooter coming down, so. Cool. Get up out of this wind. The dog are still coming down. Yeah. So uh, we'll get up behind these rocks up here, get hunkered in, and we'll be ready for him. Okay. We got down in position where we could see, watch the whole mountain, and cows were coming down, and they're filing down into the fields down below. And just with the sheer number of elk that were up there, we saw 200 cows come down the mountain, single file, over the course of an hour. I mean, we were in a good spot. That other bull's coming down too. He's, he's about a mile away. They had that other five point over there. Yeah. He's about a mile away, but uh, he's coming down in a hurry. He might come on down and meet up with these cows. It's a good sign. We're in a good spot. We get our setup made and we're watching the cows funnel out, watching the cows funnel out, uh, get another wave of cows come through, and then all of a sudden, here comes the, the littler bull. You hit him good. Shoot him again if you can. Hold up, hold up. He's down, man. He's down. Good work, buddy. Good job. <laughs> it's work. It's a dead bull. Oh, man. Nice. In the back of your mind, you know you're kind of planning for tomorrow. And then all of a sudden, boom, here he comes. And, and that's kind of the way it is out here, you know, with this many cows running. Uh, you never know when something's gonna happen like that. We got about 20 minutes of light left. We'll go down and, and get a uh, horse saddled up and try and get up there before it gets too late. Heck yeah. And get him took care of and, and brought on down. 
Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, good Thank job, you, man. dude. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Heck, I'm stoked. First elk right here at Dome Mountain Ranch. I'm excited. I just having fun. Doing what I love. Whoa. Holy smokes. You know, it, it dang sure wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. But it, it was dang sure worth it in the end, even though it wasn't that easy. Nice. Nice work, buddy. Yeah, nice job. Good shooting. That could have been a heck of a lot harder. Yeah. <laughs> We're surrounded by public land. Yeah. Really? Wolves, grizzly bears. The, wild, the most wily elk you'll hunt yeah. in, in the lower 48, I guarantee you that. Wow. And, wow, for, to get this guy done pretty close and for a four by five, can't complain, man. Shoot, I'm excited. Good I job. Appreciate it. Both of the guys took great bulls thanks to a lot of hard work from not only themselves, but from the crew at Dome Mountain Outfitters. A lot of you know how hard it is to get one late season bull, much less two. So congratulations to Austin and Dustin. Good luck to both of you in the PBR of this season. Hey, if you want to join the guys and become a member of RMEF Team Elk, go to teamelk.org and remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Team Elk.